I had no idea what scoliosis was. I just thought there was some sort of deformity and he's going to have it for the rest of his life. Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine. It occurs in three planes. There's a sideways bending of the spine. There's a hollowing of what is a normal gentle rounding of the upper part of the back. And there is a twisting rotation and the rotation is always towards this curvature of the spine, the convexity. We'd never heard of scoliosis ever, didn't know anything about it really. Um, when we came to the hospital they did give us some leaflets um, we, which we read and we were devastated to be honest. Because it was a difficult problem we tended to delay decisions, let's wait and watch and let's wait and watch and all the time the curves got um, larger. So when I started looking at infantile scoliosis, the interest really began because if you looked backwards in time to the very beginning of infantile scoliosis, it became clear that they started off as very small curves, which we could really think about tackling at that age. And so I did some research work on infantile scoliosis and discovered a method by x-rays of telling which curve would progress rapidly and which curve left to its own would do just the opposite, correct itself without anybody's help. And that led then to the interest in using the child's growth to correct the scoliosis. There is a spectrum of children who develop the scoliosis from the healthy, robust child whose curve will spring back to normality without our help or with very minimal help to the progressive ones who need help and can be cured early to children who have syndromes. In the infantile, boys are more often affected than girls but to about 1.6 or 7 to 1. And the curves are usually seen more on the left side than the right. In the adolescent group, it's girls about six times more common than boys. And the curves are usually right-sided. We don't know why. It's caused by um, many problems such as neuromuscular disease pulling more to one side than the other or it can be as a result of congenital malformation of the bones of the spine. But there's a very large group where scoliosis is termed idiopathic which really means basically we don't know why. It, uh, it is seen in times of rapid growth uh, and it increases during those two periods of rapid growth in a child's life, the first two years and at adolescence. When Laura was born, it was an instinct at first that something wasn't quite right, a feeling I had. Um, nothing was visibly seen and she passed the baby tests at the hospital. But as she uh, developed and sat up, a small hunch showed over her shoulder blade. Mothers pick up a curve very early. They notice the baby lying in a C-curve, or that the baby doesn't like lying on one side, or there is a bulge on one side of the baby's back. And that bulge is frequently found when bathing the baby, or after a feed rubbing the hand across the baby's back. When I gave Deepak a bath, um, there was this, a hump at the back and I knew there was something wrong. I wouldn't tell anyone. And when I took him to the doctors, it was the doctors who said that uh, there's a slight problem. I think you get a feeling when something's wrong with your baby. It's especially hard with the first baby because you're, you haven't got that inner confidence to say. You, you be begin to think you're just another neurotic mother. 
or father who ever notices it, but just to keep on and on and push to be seen by someone. When you set him up, when he was so little, set him up, he would um, fall to one side, the side where the um, curve is on his spine. And I knew that there was something wrong because having my daughter Gülçin having the same problem, I then took him to the GP and showed him where, where the problem was, that he didn't understand and he didn't seem to think that he had a problem. We first noticed scoliosis when, um, in fact, his father noticed it. They were very poor twins when they were first born. And um, they were in special care for a number of weeks to, for non-end of complications, really, partly as of, of being undernourished at the last part of the pregnancy. And the last thing, when they were in the special care units, he also had a torticollis, which is where his neck was curved and onto his shoulder. So once we started to correct his neck, then we noticed that his back wasn't straight and correcting either. Early detection is not a problem, but early action is a problem. And this is where one needs to emphasize that by early intervention of a progressive curve, we have the opportunity of curing a scoliosis. And the first thing to do is to make a thorough examination of the baby. And I cannot overemphasize how important it is nappy off. Because a nappy hides the lower half of the baby's back, and we miss important uh, signs of early scoliosis, such as in this boy, who sits heavily on the left buttock. The right side of his pelvis is tilted upwards, and he has a curve in the lumbar spine here. Here is another baby who sits, as you see, heavily on his right buttock. From in front, you can see even better that he takes more weight on his right on the right side of his body. Here is the curvature of his spine and here are the flank creases. Examine also babies lying tummy on their tummy, face down. And here is a different baby with again a small curve, flank creases here and prominence of this part of his um, head with the prominent ear. These are subtle features associated with scoliosis. We noticed almost from birth that Charles didn't lay straight in his Moses basket, didn't lay straight in his cot, and when he sat up, he slumped slightly to one side. We visited the GP, who invariably told us there was little or nothing to worry about, and this was common in young babies. Babies with a scoliosis convex to one side always rotate the head away from the convexity of the curve. So she is looking to the, to the right. And if you try to make her turn her head to the left, she will protest loudly. Here is the corrective plaster technique. The child is anesthetized to avoid frightening. The spine is first gently manipulated to correct the curve on a cotrell frame. Then this corrected position is held by a plaster jacket. The use of plaster jackets for infantile scoliosis is simply